Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome back to Project Zomboy. This is going to be a fun one. This is a collaboration with Colsey and Rapskilly, and both their channels will be linked down below. It's a single player pass around, so we're basically playing the same file, same save file, but pass it around each person. The next person will be Rapskillian, and he's not going to have any idea what we've done, where we've gotten, and what we're doing. I'll get you introduced to a character very soon. I have no idea where we are, what we are capable of, or what our character is, because one of the, uh, one of the, I'm going to get us tuned into Life and Living real quick. One of the, uh, rules in this playthrough is randomized characters. We've got a few, few rules, or guidelines, I suppose. Uh, randomized characters being one. Let me close this curtain real quick. Uh, randomized characters being one. Vanilla playthrough randomized as a randomized characters and the apocalypse setting while we're life and living it up over here let's have a look at our character we are jamal strange we are weak cowardly we're a cook hence the outfit we've got cat's eyes fast reader angler and we're a sewer these are our skills a uh, good cup good, good good cooking skills short blade mm, fishing mm, tailoring mm. okay so we're gonna get reading uh we're gonna get watching um life and living and then we'll go explore our house to see if we can find any goodies so we are playing uh one week at a time i'm just gonna turn this off for now one week at a time per uh character we may shorten the time if it gets to be that we're oh metalwork trapping they're pretty good vhs for forks knots carpet there's a lot of books in here that's gonna be really helpful uh, to get our grind started. Let's see if we can find a weapon. That's a bathroom. Uh, oh, garage. Okay. Metal pipe. That is indeed a weapon. That will that will serve as a weapon for now. Uh, may not be the one that we stick with, but it will certainly do for now. And this is a little cupboard. Let's go ahead and turn the audio up just a little bit. Yeah. This is going to be a fun one. Um... As I say, we're not allowed to look at each other's videos, so what we can do... Are we underweight, overweight? We are... Well, we're good on our weight. We're just weak. <clears throat> so we need to work on our skills. What we can do is leave notes and stuff for each other um, right on the map if we need to. A bread knife I'm going to get because we are a proficient in short blade. And that's actually really handy, a water bottle. Go ahead and have a look upstairs, see if there's anything. Where are we? Let's have a look. We are in... West Point? Maybe? I, I really don't know the maps possibly as well as I should, considering the amount of hours I have in this game. But the first step is going to be we need to fortify our um, fortify our house. I'm going to ditch the chef pants uh, in hopes... Well, we've picked up the suit pants. Uh, acoustic guitar, dress, long socks. Well, where are the long socks? I like long socks. Long socks are cool. Hopefully we can find a needle and thread and we can tailor our gear to improve it. Uh, pipe wrench. Does that do more or less damage than the metal pipe? That's about the same by the looks of it. Sheets, however. Go ahead and grab that so we can stick it on our window. Uh, life and living, obviously, at 9 and 12. So we're going to want to be here for, for that. Uh, those are no use to me. That's no use to me. Okay, oh, pencil. Pencil will be useful. Because I want to be able to leave notes and stuff for the team. A saw. Alright, alright, that's that's good. If we can get ourselves a hammer. Let's have a look at our map. We might, I think we're in West Point. I could be wrong. But we've got a good start, a decent start to the house. If we can grab a hammer, we can start disassembling furniture and grab some experience, which would be really helpful. There's thread. Still need a needle. Alright, let's go ahead and close all the curtains we come across. They'd probably get away with walking rather than crouching now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go for um, several, like, for a week. So this is going to be... Uh, so this will say 13th of the 7th when we leave up. Let's go to the front door. Let's carry on closing these curtains. And if we've got any windows that need curtains, I can stick them up. Ooh, this is just, oh, this is a furniture room? Furniture, uh, a clothes, clothes room. That's fine. 
we're looking pretty good. I'm going to drop the sheet for now. And I guess we'll uh, we'll go forth and see our neighboring surroundings. Ooh. Is this one of the unhoppable fence? This might be really good for us. Knowing that they can't hop this fence. Multi-hit is enabled because that's how we like to play. You know, it's a single player. Well, sort of a single player game. Uh, single player game. You play exactly how you want to play. Don't let anybody teach you or tell you otherwise. Let's go ahead and clear the neighboring... Uh, clear the neighboring zombies. We are weak, so we're going to need to really work on our strength. Because we're just not going to be able to fight that well. We're into the next house, so... We will grab the food. We may not necessarily need it right now, but we will grab the food. Just because if we need to, we can, you know, run back into the home. We have an inventory space of six. Alright, first things first. The very first thing we need to do before we do anything else is we got to find a carrier bag of some sorts or a garbage bag, preferably a rucksack would be really helpful that's not helpful uh, and then maybe get rid of anything that we don't need so the chef's hat gotta go i'm afraid the chef jacket will keep because it's whoa jesus jesus christ that's not that's not okay game game that's 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 not chill bro that's not very chill so we're gonna have to do some workout oh my goodness this this, this zombie does not want to die. Can you push him over? You want to, like, get pushed over? Thank you. That zombie just didn't want to die. Uh, warm clothing. Hammer. Hammer, nails, and a plank. We should now be able to disassemble furniture, I think, with the saw. Yeah, we just need the saw, which we've got back at our home base. Life and living is about to come on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, this TV on. At a very low volume and tune in. We're going to hit sit here and watch a bit of life and living. Alright, life and living is done. That has gotten us, I do believe, another level or a level in carpentry, which is great. But we really need to find a rucksack because we're not carrying barely anything. And uh, it's, we're gonna struggle. We're gonna struggle fighting any, any, any more than like one zombie. Military boots. We'll take them. Any more than like one zombie, we're really gonna struggle. I'm actually gonna drop the metal pipe and have the hammer because I feel like that's a better use of our weight management. Um, again, we're gonna hope we find a rucksack in here. Luckily enough, with the zombies that are smash or trying to smash through this window. We've got one with a backpack. It's a school bag. Also, the uh, the varsity jacket quite good for uh, quite good for our defense, and we'll take the key as well. So we do indeed now have a backpack, which is really helpful. We've managed to pick up some other things. Quite a lot of books. A needle and thread, also very helpful. M14 rifle, as you do. It is America. What do you expect? And some rounds. Even so, this backpack's just not going to be enough to counteract how much stuff we've got. We've also picked up a crowbar. So we're just going to have to be very like, cautious and take significant note of just how much stuff we're carrying. Or we're going to be in serious trouble. Alright, I'm going to finish it in this first house. And then I'm going to grab everything and get it back home in the safe and sound. And maybe work on our uh, our strength level. So we are going to quite regularly have to train our strength. Because we have zero strength levels. Which means we're just not going to be able to fight almost at all. Or for at least for very long. Our fitness is high so we can run. We can run for the wind. But fighting, we're going to struggle. A little bit more uh, life and living while reading a book. And then the next plan, we're going to disassemble some uh, furniture around here and try and get us uh, some boarded up windows, because otherwise we're not going to be able to fight our way out. Okay, with the first day coming to a close, I'm going to, now with the planks we've gotten, we've only gotten a few from disassembling some furniture. 
but I'm now going to barricade up one of these windows, or a couple of these windows, just to hopefully get some more fortification. And that's a nice looking house. There's thankfully not that many zombies around, which I'm very thankful for. But at some point we're going to need to try and find ourselves a car. Because we're just not going to be able to manually, physically run all of these things around. I'm going to drop the hammer and the saw down here. And then I'm also going to find a piece of paper that I had written down somewhere. And leave a note for the gang that, you know, this is the plan. We did unfortunately miss life and living last night. But we have woken up with enough time to grab ourselves some more water. Maybe cook ourselves something to eat. If we had a frying pan, that'd be be really good. But it's fine. We can grab. We've got some. We've got steak, some corn, some peas. Probably make. I'm thinking a soup or a stew would probably be really good. So I'm gonna fill up this uh, water bottle. Then we're gonna get some. Actually, we might get some exercise in now. We'll get some exercise in now. We'll get some. Um, some burpees up. Oh, we're carrying too much to exercise right now. That's fine. Let's go ahead and make the stew, and then we'll do some burpees to exercise, and then we'll watch Life and Living. We're well on our way to our first level of cooking. I'm going to... Cooking? Strength. First level of strength. I'm going to go ahead and cook up this stew. Hopefully it'll be done before Life and Living. Okay, Life and Living's over. <clears throat> We've made a decent start on our first uh, book there we're reading. The stew, however, did not cook. So we're going to finish off cooking that. Then we go adventuring. So one of the goals today is to rip up a bunch of clothing from zombies. Based on the fact that we can't wear more clothes because it's too heavy for us. But if we can improve our clothes by um, like like putting rip sheets and stuff on it then we may still get some defense uh, from the zombies, from the undead, without having to carry too much. I can hear banging and a window is just broken somewhere and I don't know where. And I, I hate this. I'm hoping it's not our building. But I'm fairly confident it was. Which is really why we need to work on getting our windows boarded up. That wasn't down here. Ah, oh, it was our back window. Okay. One of the better windows to have uh, smash in, I suppose. Let's go ahead and get this zombie dispatched. And check inside, see if they've managed to... Uh, there was more than one, or if it was just the one. It was just the one, thankfully. Okay, as much as I would love right now to work on uh, our clothing, we really need to board up that hole in the wall. I'm going to disassemble some more furniture in our home. In hopes we get a couple more planks. I honestly decided we'd be better off disassembling furniture in somebody else's home. So we're not ruining our, our lovely little aesthetical home. Uh, so we can still have things to store, like still store things. So we managed to get four planks from disassembling a whole bunch of furniture. Uh, ideally I'd like to read the carpentry book before we um, break any more furniture so we can get some, you know some better experience but this is better than nothing and i'm gonna barricade some more of the uh, the windows around our house back just in time for life and living and to recover so we've now recovered from our little exercise session we're out, we're getting there we're on our we're you know halfway to level one it's better than nothing we're gonna have some food and then we're gonna tailor and make our clothes slightly better so you missed that but there was an ambient gunshot sound. And I hate ambient gunshot sounds because it means the zombies are being dragged from all over the place. So we're going to sit and just have a look outside this window. It was to the north. I think we're going to be okay. Because we've got that big metal fence to our south. So they can't really climb over that. So I'm hoping we should be fine. Now we are getting tired. And annoyingly we've run out of... Um, bread so ideally we need to go out and grab some the zombie that we killed that broke into our house did in fact drop a key for a car now i don't know where this zombie came from and i can't see any cars nearby 
But it does mean that on one of the cars near us, might be one of those, there's a key. So our job's to go and find it. But first we're going to dispatch a couple of these zombies. We're not exactly nimble. But we've got enough, like, fitness strength that I'm hoping we'll be able to take out two zombies at a time. Especially with multi-hit. I'm thinking we're going to be fine if we just keep hitting them. There's one. We push the second one over. There we go. And there's... Since we're here and this is a proper, like, bougie posh looking house. We can try and loot. There's another school bag there. Which would be really helpful. I'm going to drag the zombie to the door. Then Jimmy, one of these windows open. Okay, not that window. Jimmy, this window open. Okay, not that window either. Jimmy, this window open. How badly we do we suck at opening with? Oh my goodness, three fails. The door open. This door open? No. They actually have locks on their windows? What a shock. If I have to smash a window in, I have to smash it. I'm going to smash the window in. I'll remove the broken glass. I'm going to run in. And hopefully there's just going to be a one zombie. There's one zombie smashing on the door down here at least. Let's give him a shove over. There are several zombies in this house. Okay, let me just grab the school bag. And the key ring. And then... I mean, the varsity jacket's way cooler, so we'll grab that too. And we're going to come back to this house when we've got a little bit more energy and we're not so tired. Oh, I do want to rip his clothes up, though. Can we get away with ripping his clothes up before the door breaks down? That's the real question. Yes, we can. Okay. We're just going to leave this house for now, then. I've made my way to the cars down here to see if this is one of the... Uh, cars that we have a key for. I'm just going to squelch this, this chick's head. We are getting tired. We do need to head home soon. Because we are getting, you know, thoroughly exhausted. With moderate exertion. But we'll see if... This is one of the... Okay, so there is a car that apparently we have two keys for. And a map. And cigarettes. There's no gas in the car. Which is somewhat to be expected. It's a car crash. Ooh, twine, duct tape. That's both helpful. It's somewhat to be expected. Um, so we're probably just not going to worry about this car. But we'll check. Uh... Oh, the back of this one's locked. Is it openable? No. All right, let's head home. Oh, well, we've got a level in farming. And we're very close to a level one in strength. Thank goodness for exercise, right? Unfortunately, we slept too long. And we've missed life, uh, life and living in the morning, but that's not so bad of any. It's not a bit massive issue. We're gonna get. We're gonna go check outside. Seems to be okay. We're gonna get some exercise in, and then we're gonna go carry on looting that house. And here it is, level one in strength. A nice way to start off the F. Well, start off the day. Okay. We've rested up long enough. It's time to go and see. I'm going to drop the hammer here for now. It's time to go and see if we can finish off looting that building. Because I know there's a couple of zombies in there. I still need some more thread for uh, rip sheets. Problem is, we're in an extreme amount of pain. So some painkillers certainly wouldn't go amiss. I'm going to start off with a little garage out here, though. Because there could be some... Oh, it looks like it's pretty full. Please don't make me smash another window. I really don't like doing that. All right, we're smashing the window. Moving the glass. Go in. Dust mask, prepare. Uh, amusingly, nothing particularly good. Garbage bag might come in very handy. We can go through the front door now that we've uh we've we, you know we've broken in. Still trying to break this door down, which is nice. So we're going to get to it before she does. 
hopefully try and push the zombie down. And normally I'd smash their heads in with my foot. But I really want to work on that strength experience. And I think smashing them with the crowbar is probably the best way to go. And then rip up all their clothes. Two screwdrivers, club hanger, not all that useful. Sounds like there's more than one zombie up here. Which door is it? This door. Oh, it's just the one zombie. No, there's another zombie in another room. All right, let's continue bashing this one's head in. Painkillers. I saw that. It's got to be in here, right? Yeah. In the storage closet. Bit of a weird place to have a zombie, but fine. Key. I mean, it's useful, but not all that useful, really. All right. Grab what we can and get out. A gun. Okay. Oh, that's going to be helpful. In case our character starts getting quite bored, we can uh, wear the V-neck sweater. The gun kit. That's a shotgun. Now, normally, I think shotguns are really not a good idea. Guns in general, not a good idea. I think it's a good backup plan for us, simply because our fighting skill is so bad. I think we need to have a shotgun just in case. The boys, however... They might disagree with me. Because me shooting guns has gotten us into more than one sticky situation. But the good news is... Our strength has gone up from 6 to 7. Which is really nice. I don't need all these rip sheets on me though. So we're going to drop them. And continue looting this house. Oh! Oh, oh yes. A big hiking bag. And a second fanny pack. This is great. It's it's. There's nothing short of just like that's amazing for us. Because we really do need all the storage we can get, especially when our char character just can't carry that much. So we're gonna transfer everything to the uh, to the hiking bag, and then just drop the school bag here because we kind of just don't need it. This is this is great for us. Fingerless gloves, kind of pointless. Uh, more clothes we can rip up. That's fine. I've also picked up some cosmetic items. Because the guys, the boys might want to change our uh, our appearance at some point. So I've picked up some cosmetic items to... um. So if, if they do want to, we've got some, uh, some makeup. We've got some... We've got a razor. Some strawberry blonde hair dye. So they might want to change things up a little. Party room. Hello. Some beer, some cigarettes, some empty bottles. Not so much the empty cans. They're not so useful, but the bottles are. Anything on here? Strange little man. Some more books. That's always good. It is nearly 12, so I want to get home for life and living. But let's very quickly just check out the kitchen. I'm just going to grab whatever food I can. Because what I will do for the boys is set them up with some, like, some food ready to eat. And we made it home just in time for woodcraft. Okay, with the backpack now finally sorted out, I'm going to sit here and do a bunch cooking so the guys don't have to worry about doing that later. Okay, we're going to go out and loot one more house because there's a few little bits of things that I still need. So I'm going to go up to the house up here. There's a couple of zombies outside. I still think I can deal with them even though I'm exerted and very tired. But I'm going to try not to deal with them. I'm trying to get into the one in the house as well. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. So I need uh, I need a couple more cooking. There's two in the house, actually. I don't know if I can handle two outside and two inside. So I'm going to... Okay, that's a few more than two. Okay, never mind. We're going to sneak into the house over here. And uh, try and escape them from going through the house. There's just a few more things that I need. I wonder if I left them here. Uh, if I can find them here. Matches, leash, sponge, no... It's like, I need like a fork and a spoon and some salt. That's fine. I'm going to avoid dealing with the zombies for now. I'll deal with them in the morning. 
Ah, uh, we've woken up exactly six o'clock. Quick, get downstairs for life and living. Quick, don't miss out on the XP. Okay, before I do any real cooking, I do want to grab some more bits from that uh, house across the road. So we're going to rest up, and then we're going to go out again. All right, fully rested. I think we can take on the zombies that are up here. I think we're going to be okay with it. I think. I could be wrong, but I think we'll be okay with at least the buildings inside the house. Sorry, the zombies inside the house. Even though quite a few of them are trying to break down the doors and the windows. Let's see if we can jimmy some windows open and try and get in. But we haven't had the best of luck with jimmy windows, so let's just smash it in. No zombies outside. Let's go. Right, there's one zombie. Let's take him out. This way, buddy. This way. Right. One. Dead. One by the front door. You're next. There's one behind. Okay, there's a couple behind. Let's not get cornered. That's the worst thing we can do is get cornered. That is the worst thing that could happen. We do have the escape route of the window. There's one in here as well. And I know I remember there's one round the corner straight away. Oh, thank goodness for multi-hit hitting then. Come on. There we go. Anything in the satchel? Some cigarettes. We don't really need cigarettes. Anything in the cabinet? Uh, okay. Jars and stuff? Good for pickling our vegetables. That's actually helpful. I think the rest of this building is clear, though. One well, trying to break through the back. Take her out. Oh, there's two. Okay. It's fine. There's three. We can hit a mother on the ground. All the better. Outside, no more. Oh no, there was one behind. There was one behind. Okay, we've been lacerated. We haven't been bitten. Let's rip up one of the pieces of clothing. Close the door. Get that wrapped up. Hopefully, not infected. I thought we'd cleared them. I thought we were. I thought we were free and fine. Just to show how much of a difference having the um, the big hiking bag is. I've got twenty, almost twenty units of in there, and I'm still just only, just only, over seven. This is what the next couple of minutes is gonna look like. I'm just adding random things to stir fries and stews to make food. Okay, with all the food cooked in the house, we are down to three days and six hours. We're probably going to go for four days and then pass it on to the next person. I'd really like to be able to grab some, like, um... I'd really like to be able to basically make some bread, though. Bread, though, would be really nice to make. But we need, like, a fork, a spatula, or a spoon. Everything else we got, we just need a fork, spatula, or a spoon. So I'm going to go for a little hunt. The one, even though our character's really in no shape to be fighting. Alright, we're gonna go into this. That That's a gap in the fence. Oh, please tell me they can't walk through that. Please tell me that's a visual glitch. I really hope that's a visual glitch. I'm gonna try and break into this kitchen here. Oh, look at that. We actually managed to break in without setting any alarms off, without having to break the window. This never happens. This is great. Alright. Ooh, chocolate, granola bar, honey... That's all great stuff. Ease, more great stuff. Orange soda and wa more water is always handy. Really just want a spoon. Graham crackers. Sorry, Graham crackers. Uh, Frying pan's nice. But again, I just kind of want a spoon. Just need a spoon. Okay, no spoons. Do you think we can make one more building? Any, uh, I don't see any zombies around here. Alright, let's go for one more building. If we can't get in this one, then we'll call it quits. Because our character is tired, exerted, in pain, and overweight. We're in. Then what I will do is I'll mark off the, uh, the rooms and buildings that we've checked. We found a fork, and I think that might work to make bread dough. It does. A fork works. The question is, why doesn't a knife work? 
this is all good. I mean, it's a dead rat. It's not great, but like on the flip side, it's good. Stale Patty will take it because we can turn it into a stew. Mousetrap thread. That's all helpful. More fresh foods. Good. We'll take that too. And we'll take the stuff, but we'll come back for the rest. Like we don't need the rest of it right now. So if I could just make some bread, I'll be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making some bread dough. So we can cook some bread. I'm excited for this. I don't usually make I don't usually do this much cooking in this game. So this is this is a change. And now we get to cook the bread. I think you can just do straight in the air. You can do it straight in the oven. There you go. They can make sandwiches in the morning for breakfast. Freshly baked bread. And with our last night's sleep, we'll be handing this episode over to Rapskillion, the Rapscallion. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.